So from which age do you remember yourself? Ah, from which age do I remember myself? <laughs> well, I remember when I was five or six. I remember uh, very well how my mother dressed, how our sister dressed, because I'm a fashion designer, so you know, I'm my first fashion influences, I think, uh, impression, I should say, is around five or six. Yes, yes, I remember that. I remember a happy ambience, a happy childhood. I remember, uh, I see it as a very sunny time. I mean, it was, uh, uh, people were happy then, you know, it's not, uh, uh, it's not like today that everybody's complaining about everything. People, life was fluid. And uh, I remember those good moments. Yeah, and I've never been asked this question before. Now that you tell me, I'm flying. So, uh, the, um, uh, when uh, did you realize that you want to create, you want to become a fashion designer or something? I didn't know if I want, I mean, I was not obsessed by fashion, but I, will, I, I think I have a gift. God gave me the gift of doing things with my hands. As far as I remember, I was always doing something with my hands. I was always uh, sculpting things with uh, uh, wood or, you know, expressing myself first with my hands. Uh, and, and I think very soon I grabbed uh, a piece of fabric to do something with it. So it's, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm an artisan uh, and uh, I think it's a gift because uh, uh, I can make things myself. Fashion came later, I mean fashion came was I was a hairdresser, then I met a woman who was a hat maker and she teach me how to make hats. Yes, everything is very logical. And so I became a hat maker. And being a hat maker, I've met some people who were designers. They asked me to do hats. And then one day someone asked me to do a dress. I've never done a dress before, but I say, okay, I'll do it. I'll do the dress over the night. And I said, that's what I want to do. You've uh, dressed, you do costume, did costumes for uh, the incredible woman, this is young man. And how, how did you meet her and how did you start like uh, collaboration? Uh, Honor Petty called me and uh, I mean it was uh, uh, then I have already created the bandage dress you know which made me famous and uh, he loved it he saw it on TV and he called me and we met and I had this I mean extraordinary chance to work with Renaud and Zizi and to dress Zizi jean -Mer. you can imagine it's something very <sighs> it was incredible she's incredible it was a big moment in my life. I've, I learned a lot from her, you know, because I mean, she's been dressed by Balma, by Saint Laurent, uh, so uh, it was something. It was something to dress this young man, yes. Her attitude, her elegance is something that uh, it's unique. I mean, she's a unique, uh, a unique person, and uh, she knows exactly, I mean, what sort of neckline, it's uh, the length. The sleeves. She was, she's a perfectionist, so um, I. She teach me a lot of tricks, also Hollywood tricks, you know. She knows a lot, and to see her moving, I mean, was something and totally unbelievable. I've been very lucky because, uh, uh, you know, after the hats, I started. Uh, the guy who asked me to do the dress after the hats told me, you have a big sense of fashion, you should come and work with me. So I, get, I stopped with uh, hairdressing and went to work with him. Uh, his name is Stan Giudicelli. He was very famous in the, in the 80s. And then uh, straight after I met, you know, it was easy time for uh, designers because people were, uh, you could go to a dinner, a private dinner uh, to a friend and you could sit with, uh, even though you were only a shampoo maker or hairdresser, you know, you could meet Kenzo, you could meet Karl Lagerfeld, you could meet uh, Thierry Mugler, Con Montana. I mean, it was not, uh, uh, it, it was, Dinners, it was not charity, you know what I mean? Today, I mean, there's no more dinners. I mean, the, every dinner is a charity, everybody's uh, like this, I don't know. So I had the opportunity to meet a lot of people. And, uh, uh, but uh, then when I invented the bandage dress, the success came and I had the opportunity to make uh, shows at the grand time of the top models, like, you know, uh, Linda Evangelista, uh, 
Iman, uh, Cindy Crawford, uh, Karen Mulder. I mean, all these women were really inspiring because they were very gracious. They were, the way they move on, this, on their own way is, has nothing to do with what it is now. Some people might find it demodé, but it was very emotional. It was, uh, and well, I'm talking about the models, but I've met also a lot of, uh, I've dressed quite a bunch of celebrities, yes, I've dressed quite a lot, and it still goes on. Today I don't meet them, strangely, you know, they're in Hollywood, ah, because, I don't know, they, we have, yeah, there's many in-between in people, you know, like stylists, like uh, publicists, like, uh, so it makes it less, uh, maybe less interesting, but I, I still have the opportunity, I dress Dita Fontis, which I think is, this is the same feeling than, <laughs> the same story than with uh, uh, Zizi, because she's incredible, she's, uh, you know, she, she, she has such a, she's a nice person, she is very clever, she's very respectful about uh, my work, and uh, she has, uh, she's a, a pure person, I mean, she's not fake, I mean, she's, she has a passion, it's fashion, she's always, uh, and she, she stick to it, you know, there's not a minute of, because she's, she just love it, it's not, uh, it's for herself, then she gives to people. Problem today for me with, uh, uh, with fashion in general is that there's a lack of charm. Charm has totally disappeared because uh, the girls on the runway now, you, if you see them backstage, they are happy, you know, they're happy to be there. If you see them on the runway, they have no charm. I mean, it's just, and they make, all the shows have the same rhythm. I, I'm not going to say that they make all the clothes look alike because it would be pushing too much. But I mean, it's just like robots and going. And then at the end, they come back all of them, I, I think it's quite scary. <laughs> but the problem, I, I have, that's not the reason why I don't show. I don't show because I've been used to, to big shows and uh, uh, I'm not ready for that today. But I mean, the show that I like the most, and uh, people are gonna kill me if I say that, but I think it's very fun to look at Victoria's Secret. I mean, Victoria's Secret is happy. It's beautiful to look at those girls, you know? And uh, that makes me happy. It reminds me of the old time. Uh, if I do a show like that tomorrow, I'm dead. I can, <laughs> I can leave fashion, people will, will, will kill me. But I think it's much more exciting. There's, there's not, I don't know, I don't, see, I don't see a lot of amusement on the, on the runway. The problem is that we were working with passion and if business was good, you were making money. Today, the only point everywhere is making money. So it kills a lot of things, you know. It kills passion. And uh, do you often feel depressed? Are you often depressed? Hmm. I've been through very difficult moments. Because being a villager, losing the company, losing everything, and I had to invent a new story. So this story is Hervé Leroux. It takes me a lot of time to recover from that. Uh, I'm, I, s I don't know if I will ever forget that story because, I mean, after all, some people there is still doing business with dresses I've designed 15 years ago and making money with it. But I'm here. I've invented a new story and I fight not to be depressed because I've been through really depressing moment. Depression can kill you and brings you nowhere. So if I start to be moody, bluesy, depressed, I really, I go in my garden. The garden saved me, you know, I'm, uh, my, my hobby, apart, I, I, there's not only fashion. Eh? Uh, I love reading books and I love gardening and uh, nature saved my life, I think. Do you believe in destiny? Yes. Yes, I do. But I still don't know where I'm going. <laughs> because, I mean, after all, you know, we know the past, we know the present. What do we know about the future? I've stopped doing f to f uh, going to see a fortune teller a long time ago. Yes, I was obsessed and believed everything they said. And then one day, um, I thought, that's not happening, what she says. 
and she was probably good for some things. And then the things I expected uh, never happened. So I say, let the, let's walk your way. And what about God? Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. Look, if you see there, I, 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 I have candles everywhere. I pray every day. Yeah, yeah, I believe in God, yes. Without God, there's no, no possibility for me. Well, God gave me something. I mean, God gave me a gift. I'm, I'm able to do something, you know, to create something. And I think, uh, I thank Him for that. And also being uh, still on my feet, I thank Him for that too. You said that you like to read the books. Which, which book is your favorite and which... Um, I love Balzac. I am uh, totally... I had to stop uh, reading Balzac because uh, I've, I've, I've read them all too many times and I was only in Balzac. And more than more. I like it because it's just... Uh, well, nothing has changed. Everything in there. Uh, uh, on the level of the relationship uh, and uh, the social behavior of people, everything is in Balzac. But very recently, uh, I've discovered... Uh, not recently, but I just finished the uh, last Murakami, you know, the, the 1995. And then I, I, uh, I just finished Kafka sur le rivage. But I have to stop that too because it's too emotional for me. You know, I travel too much. I, I, I am so now. I started. Uh, I went to more classic uh, Crime et Châtiment again. When you've been a little boy, who was your like hero? Who you wanted from the book, from the movie, uh, from life? Who you you like looked at that I want to be like him? Who was the the first person I met, it was not when I was a little boy, the first person I met that fascinates me and says uh, I want to be like him is Karl Lagerfeld. When I've met Karl and started working with Karl, uh, I, want, I was so impressed. I wanted, but well now I cannot say, that. yes, I was. I never said to myself I want to be like him because I know it was impossible. Very soon I discover you'd better forget about that. I think the problem with people who, some of the assistants that Karl Lagerfeld had is that they think they're going to be like him. It's totally impossible. So I forget very quickly about that and I, I felt better. If you had the chance to meet uh, one person from your, not, not like from the past or uh, from the book or for, like historical person, who would, cha who would you choose? Maria Callas totally fascinated by her life and it's not only a life of a uh, good moment I mean she's been through yes I think I would have loved to meet Maria Callas as a woman and Winston Churchill as a man those are two persons I'm very I would have loved to to meet which music do you listen what kind of music what kind of music I'm very classic and boring I listen to I like uh, I like Norma, I like opera more. I don't, I, I'm not really good at, I'm not good. Uh, I'm not trained in music at all. I don't listen to, I listen to classic, only classic. And the film, movie? My favorite movie, Le Guépard. I love the music of the Guépard. Sometimes I, the, when I do the gardening, I put the, I put the film put the sound very high, so I hear it from the garden, I love the music. I, well, it's, my, it's one of my favorite movies, Le Guépard. I cry when I, I see it. And what about love? I have all the love I need, you know? And uh, the person I love the most in my life, I live with, it's my sister. I have my little dog, and uh, that's it. And uh, I love my work. I'm blessed. What are you afraid of the most of all, if, you, if you're afraid of anything? <sighs> everybody. Well, what I am afraid of? <laughs> to lose everything. Because it has happened to me once, and I don't want it to happen twice. For the first time in years, it's two times that 
when I've been asked, are you happy? I say yes. And that's great. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I'm like the phoenix, I think. It makes the bad memories vanish. They are pale now, you know. <laughs> <laughs>